Hey, this is Chris. I'm just going to see my feet for a second here. We've got a bunch of rain here in Austin in the last, uh, about three days ago, big storm. And I've been talking a lot about the sponge and um, how it is what you want. The more sponge you have, the cooler your place is. Wetter is cooler. Moisture is cooler. If you're trying to prevent drought and deal with this incredible heat that we're starting to get earlier and earlier in the year, the way to stop it and reverse it where you live is to build up the sponge where you live or where you work. And so as I'm walking across this stuff, I can just tell you, here I go over into the drier, rockier bit, there is no sponge here. And then as I get over into this shadier, grassy bit, sponge comes back. And over here in the shade, back on some drier rock stuff, there's still a bit of a spongy thing because the shade helps keep it in there. But these other surfaces don't have any sponge, or at least relatively speaking. So you don't want that. You don't want concrete. You don't want vegetation free. You want as deep a soils as you can get with as much vegetation as you can get relative to some other factors. But that one simple principle feels good under your feet and really keeps your property or your the landscape where your apartment is, the place, uh, the campus your work place is on, keeps it cooler because sponge holds moisture and moisture keeps it cool and keeps things alive. And this is how we can rebuild, regrow biospheric security one little place at a time all over the world.